Hello and welcome to this edition of Morning Market Call. Today I'm here with Nathan Farner, first year uh, marketing student in the MBA program here at BYU. And uh, he's going to talk with us a little bit about uh, CES today. Um, so uh, Nathan, thanks for coming first of all. Thank you. And uh, I, I guess my first question for you is wh what is CES? What, is that, what does that stand for? Yeah, CES is the Consumer Electronics Show and it's basically everybody who's anybody uh, shows up to this huge convention center in Las Vegas and kind of shows and showcases all of their cool technologies. Mm -hmm. And so how, how many uh, BYU students went to this, this event? I think there was about 40 students in total who okay. ended up going, so pretty good crowd. And uh, what was sort of the mix, first years, second years, and sort of? I, I would say probably half and half. So. Okay. And so who, who goes to this, or, or why did you want to go to, the, to, to CES? Like what, what was the appeal for you? Yeah, uh, you know, I actually worked in the tech industry before I came okay. uh, back to school, and, and I always uh, kind of watched CES and, mm -hmm. and had a lot of fun kind of seeing the products that came out of CES. Yeah. So when I had the opportunity to go, I jumped right on it and had a lot of fun. So. Okay, that's great. So I mean, maybe you can share with us some of the highlights. Like, what were some of the, the, the consumer products that, are, that we're going to see on the shelves uh, in the next couple of months that, that really kind of struck you? Yeah, maybe I'll start off uh, low and I'll go <laughs> higher, or I leave the best for last, if you will. Uh, you know, one of the, one cool little product that was kind of innovative is that they had an actual uh, remote control, like little ball uh -huh. that would uh, be, uh, I guess, it was you were able to uh, use your iPad or your your uh, iPhone to operate this little ball as a uh -huh. as a remote control, if you will. So it was kind of cool how they had these apps that. Uh, had remote control. And, and so how was it connected to the to the little ball? Yeah, it used Bluetooth technology, so oh, nothing so, new, yeah, nothing but uh, kind of yeah. a new way of looking at, at using the technology, so. Yeah, that's really cool. And then uh, and then what else what else did you see? Uh, I ended up seeing a, a really pretty neat car from Mercedes. Uh -huh. uh, the car was a concept car where it was kind of like a DeLorean. Oh yeah, you know, so like, it had, had the, uh, the wings. Exactly, so it exactly. Kind of fly. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool. Uh, did, it, did it come uh, standard with a flux capacitor? You know, I, I looked all through the windows and was trying to find out if it did and I, I couldn't see couldn't one. Couldn't see one, okay. Darn it. What well, great. And, uh, and so, so what else did you see? Uh, I think probably the best thing that I saw the, uh, while I was there is mm -hmm. the fact that they had an OLED uh, television. Uh, LG had it. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of old technology, not old, uh, really old, but kind of newer technology. Yeah, but what they did that was unique was is that uh, they made it four millimeters thick. So a really thin, really thin uh, uh, TV. TV screen, yeah. It was 55 inches uh, wide and it had 3D. Wow. Probably the coolest 3D TV I've ever seen. So the uh, question is, uh, when do you get that? When, uh, when, when are you going to go buy that? Uh, when I get a job. When you get a job. <laughs> well, uh, there you have it, uh, Nathan, and his take from CES. Uh, hopefully he'll uh, get a job soon, so he'll be able to afford that, that brand new TV. Uh, follow us on morningmarketcall.org or on Facebook and Twitter. MMC is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in association with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by a generous donation from Larry Tazjan and Gary Williams and is produced by Rhett Weller, Todd Castagna, Mason Chen, Joel Tolby, and Sabrina Beck with line producing by Kika Latu. For more information, find us on our Facebook and Twitter or at morningmarketcall.org.